A controversy is erupting over a mural that once hung inside St. Petersburg City Hall. The fight is over exactly what should go in the spot where the mural was and who should make that decision. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in St. Petersburg for us tonight with more on this story. Hey, Peter. Good evening, Jen. That mural's been gone for 50 years, and that's when local activist Amali Yashatella committed an act of civil disobedience and stripped it from the wall. News photos from 1966 document the act that sent Joe Waller, now known as Amali Yashatella, to prison for more than two years. He led a march to City Hall and ripped the mural down that showed black musicians with exaggerated facial features playing at a picnic. A blank wall on the grand staircase at City Hall marks the spot where the mural once hung. A committee is tasked with finding something to replace the mural. Something that can either heal um, what had happened here in the city, or if the city just deems that it should remain blank, then that would be fine with me as well. But Amali Ashatilla, the man who tore down the mural, opposes the city's efforts. What the city is attempting to do now uh, is to replace that uh, mural that was there uh, with an image that uh, presupposes that things have gotten so much better for African people in this city subsequent to then. We say that's a lie. Yashatilla joined about a dozen others from the Uhuru movement on the steps of City Hall to protest plans for the new mural. In preparing for this proposal, the city has made no attempt to talk to me or any of the other surviving men. An art committee member tells me he's welcome to help. If he wants to provide input, he's welcome to do that. Absolutely, any citizen is. The city is allocating $10,000 for the mural replacement. I think if we get really good submissions, we'll find an artist that's respectful of the past, but will embrace their interpretation of what, where we are now. And three artist finalists will be chosen, and that could be a student at a local school. Applications are due February 8th. Jen? Well, Peter, what does Omali Yeshatella want to have happen with the mural project? It's his opinion that what should go up there should be decided by members of the black community solely. And he has threatened that if it goes the way the city wants, he's threatening to tear it down again. Peter Bernard, live for us tonight in St. Petersburg. Thank you, sir.